Hello guys, my name is Uram and today I want to show you how to enable Xdebug on Ubuntu and debug your web applications using PHPStorm. There are basically three ways to debug your PHP applications after you enable Xdebug. First, to use query parameter in your URL. Second, to enable bookmarks. And third, which is only for Chrome browser, you need to install Chrome extension. The first and second options are can be used on other browsers also. Let's first enable Xdebug on Ubuntu. Here is a very simple uh, web application on the left side in PHPStorm, and I have breakpoint here. On the right side, I am accessing this application, hit the enter. Basically, it doesn't stop here because we don't have Xdebug enabled. Before you start debugging, make sure that the bell button, this, uh, this button, is actually active and listening the PHP debug connections. So it may look like this in your PHP storm, which means that it doesn't listen up in incoming debug connections. And in this case, uh, it just won't work. Um, so make sure that you are listening to these uh, debug connections, okay? This should be enabled. Now let's open terminal and install and enable xdebug module. For this we need to uh, install first sudo apt get install php xdebug. After this we need to enable this module sudo php n mode xdebug. Now we need to edit xdebug ini file and change it. sudo get it etc php uh, your php version I have php 7.3 then here mods available xdebug ini. I'm gonna open this and basically put the following here. The Xdebug remote enable means that I want to enable Xdebug. This is the port. This is the ID key. You can you can skip this. Um, basically, the only uh, right now the only uh, required option to enable Xdebug is this remote enable one because by default the port is nine thousand. Uh, we can skip this show error trace. We can uh, also skip this remote auto start. Let me save this. You can find the uh, this code in the video description. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna close this and restart Apache. Okay, let's refresh the page, and nothing happens here because we don't have uh, we don't use basically any of these three options. Okay, now I'm gonna use the first option, which is query parameter. The parameter name is xdebug session start. I'm going to hit enter and now we see that in my PHP storm debugging was started and it paused at this line. And we can observe some super global variables or variables declared in the current scope. If you declare some variable, you can see them here. That's uh, if you if you are familiar with uh, PHP debugging, then you should know what I'm talking about. If you aren't familiar and want to know more about this, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I can make a video on debugging using PHP Store. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, click continue, and yeah, it was finished. Uh, now, the disadvantage of using this uh, query parameter is that once you uh, start debugging with query parameter, even then if you remove it and hit the enter, it's still paused in the debugger. Okay, So the reason for this is that when we once pass this query parameter, it was saved in cookie. And if we see here document cookie, it says that xdebug session 1. Based on this cookie value, the xdebug poses at this line. Okay, so we need to delete this cookie or we need to use a second and third options um, for debugging. Now I'm going to show you how to use bookmarks. On the following URL, which will be provided in, in the video description, you can uh, click the generate button, which will generate these three uh, debugging bookmarks. 
okay it's basically javascript start debugger store debugger and debug this page okay i'm going to copy these links and create bookmarks in my chrome you can do the same thing in other browsers basically this works uh, in all browsers okay i'm going to go to the bookmarks and add new bookmark copy stop debugger i'm going to call it stop debugger and debug this page and let me rename this into start debugger also okay now let me continue this now let's open this uh, bookmark bar and refresh the page and let's hit the stop debugger which will remove the value which is uh, inserted in the cookie okay i'm going to continue continue this we have this uh, xdebug session in cookie so i'm going to hit this stop debugger and now the cookie value is empty okay now when i refresh the page it doesn't pose at this line okay you see it start debugger refresh the page and it's posed here let's continue and the third option uh, automatically sets the cookie value and reloads the page okay stop debugger refresh doesn't post debug this page and it automatically comes here okay and the third option which is the chrome extension is i think uh, the most powerful let's install this chrome extension xdebug chrome extension Okay, Xdebug Chrome extension has been successfully installed and here it is. And we can uh, hit this debug, uh, which uh, let's refresh the page first, or we may even need to restart the browser, okay? After reloading your browser, uh, this bug button will become green. If it doesn't become green, you can, uh, you can click this debug and it will become, okay? You can disable, it's gray, you can debug its screen and after this you can just refresh the page and the debugging has been start this is the end of the video thanks for watching if you have some problems let me know in the comment section below and i'll do my best to help you in this and thanks for watching see you in the next time